Hello everybody, I am Guides for Saul, and today we're going to be checking out the new Braziers introduced in the quest Making Friends with My Arm. I'm going to show you where they are, how to light them, and what they do. So to start things off, to light all of the Braziers you will need to collect salt from the mines under Weiss after you complete the quest. In total you will need 1100 of the red TE salt, 750 of the blue EFH salt, and 700 of the green ERT salt, URT. Now you can also mine basalt down here, which is these black rocks, but that's not for the braziers and we'll talk about that in a bit. Let's start off with the fires of eternal light. There are three of them, the first of which here is in the Lumbridge Swamp Cave. To get to it you can either climb down the ladder to enter the Swamp Cave, and it's right next to the ladder or you can enter from uh, the Lumbridge Cellar and head around here and get to here. Now you will need two mahogany planks and two steel bars to build each of these fire pits and I'm not sure if you need a hammer and saw, I brought them just in case to test it, you do. So make sure to bring your hammer and saw and tinder box as well as the two mahogany planks and the two steel bars and to create these fires of eternal light you need 300 TE salt, 100 EFH salt, and 50 ERT salt. So let's build our first one here and this eternal fire, or the fire of eternal light will make it so you do not need to bring a lantern or any light source with you in these caves anymore so that's really nice next up is the one in the mole hole which is located right next to where you enter as well same requirements as before and you also get 300 fire making and 350 construction XP for each one built now on to the last one here is the last and probably the most useful one in my opinion it's located in the cave horrors cave on mostly harmless Build this one and you won't need a light source here anymore, which is so nice. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to bring a lantern or, of course, the Witchwood icon with me to this cave. And so now that we're done with those, let's move on to the next ones. Next up is the Fire of Nourishment, which requires 50 TE salt, 100 EFH salt, and 150 ERT salt. You get to it by crossing the little boulder here on the west side of Weiss. It was kind of hard to locate this, but now that we're here, we can build this fire pit. And what this fire will do is unlocks a new herb patch for you, which is disease free which is great for iron men of course next up is one that has a pretty decent amount of use the fire of unseasonal warmth located right outside the entrance to the god wars dungeon this one requires 100 te salt 50 efh salt and 300 ert salt to make so once you build this you will be immune to the colding effects around the god wars dungeon oh and it gets rid of the cold animation what this means is you will not have your run energy drained here anymore and you will not have your stance drained anymore which is actually pretty nice it's only a little bit helpful but it helps you get to god wars faster which means you can do more trips technically in less time and the no stat drain is kind of nice in my opinion and now last but definitely least the fire of dehumidification what this will do is prevent swamp damage and gas attacks in the main areas of mort meyer uh, it is located on just the west side of Mortmire, right near the entrance. This one took me forever to find. I ran around the entire swamp. But uh, here it is. Let's build this fire. Looks pretty cool. Now we have all of the fires built. So the ghasts are unaggroed and you don't take swamp damage. This would probably be nice if you could do it earlier on, but the quest requires, or the quest to unlock these requires some pretty decently high skilling stats. So by the time you unlock this thing, you'll probably never be coming to this area again. I guess it could be decent for Iron Man collecting the fungus, but eh. And so now that we're done with the braziers, I wanted to show one last thing off real quick, and that is that you can now make a redirected portal in your house to the troll stronghold with 100 of the basalt, BA salt, uh, 300 of the earth salt, and 100 of the TE salt. So now you can enter this portal, and it brings you straight to Trollheim right by the herb patch, which is super nice for herb runs. I mean, this saves a ridiculous amount of time. I don't think there was a teleport here before this, so... This definitely incentivizes me to do herb runs more, and like I've said a million times, this is great for Iron Man. This whole quest is amazing for Iron Man. It's like a wet dream for Iron Man. Anyways, that is how you light all of the braziers and uh, what you need for them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.